All right. Hi, I'm Roots. This is my channel, and this is Sea of Thieves. So I thought I, uh, well, I was talking to my son earlier, and he was telling me, you know, Dad, I think you should do some of the flat games that you actually really enjoy to play, as well as the VR. And uh, um, I thought besides that and the fact that I was playing some Furiouses in VR, and I, to be honest, was just really underwhelmed like it just was it was okay it just but compared to this I ruined myself man like I ruined it so anyway I figure I'll uh, you know let you guys see my face for the first time as well as play a little Sea of Thieves you know, I don't know how long I'll play I'm not really gonna play with anybody at least this go round I'm just gonna do a little solo slooping but uh Anyway, so how, are you, how was your guys' day? Yeah, mine was pretty good. So, But, uh, anyway. I don't know if it's the graphics. Or, well, I guess it's the content, really. Um, that brings me back. Or just the mechanics, everything. The, pretty much everything about this game. I like to play with the controller. Uh, a lot of people like to be a little bit more competitive and play with a uh, keyboard mouse, but my thinking is I might as well kick back and relax and be able to just chill. You know? Played too many years of World of Warcraft where I was hunched over my keyboard, and yeah, I'm pretty much done with that. So I've been messing with my audio and video, trying to get everything set up in OBS a little bit better. So let me know if it's better, worse, if there's anything I can change, um, so forth. So essentially right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of gathering some uh, materials for the journey. Oops. Pretty much just boards, cannonballs, uh, bananas, everything every uh, a growing pirate needs, right? Okay. So yeah, that it's not that that Furious Seas game was bad. It just I don't know. I can't even really put it in the words. I guess I should have thought about it before I started this video it just like main fan was telling me because he's you know I was telling him I really like this game um, Sea of Thieves and he said oh you should check out Furious Seas and so I, I guess maybe I just had my expectations up um, and uh, it looked cool don't get me wrong like and I, I like the aspect of having a crew and sunk some ships and recorded a horrible let's play that I hope none of you guys ever see. It's alright, I don't know. I, I guess, you know, I'm a little rough around the edges, I will admit. You know, I'm not quite used to playing video games and talking to people that aren't in front of me. Well, I guess hopefully you can forgive me for that one, but uh, I'm out of here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm done getting supplies. So yeah, and I mean the multiplayer of this game is really the best part of the aspect of it. You know, I've I've played uh, you know, with my buddy Sean, I've played on his stream. I I've played a couple of um well, actually a lot of randoms. And randoms are okay. I don't know why I'm getting rid of my bananas. I don't want to do that yet. All right. So, let's pick a quest. Let's just go dig up some uh gold so essentially there's different quests you can pick up three different uh, factions this is gold hoarders so this says I need to go Fletcher's Rest 
So, I'm gonna find Fletcher's Rest on the map. But yeah, the multiplayer is fun. I mean, I, I do like playing with randoms. It just sometimes can be very... I don't know, you guys think Rec Room is bad. Like, talk, try to play this with some kids. I had a kid that was screaming, like, nonstop. To the point where I literally had to, like, stop him and say... I was just telling him, look, dude, if you just would shut up, I could teach you how to play this game. Would not shut up, so we voted him and put him in the brig, and I muted him, and then I started playing music for him until he quit. Where the hell is this place? And, uh, but, I mean, that entire time that he was in the brig, we were down a person, and, uh, it just sucked. I do not see Fletcher's Rest anywhere on here. See, this is the kind of the pain in the ass of this game. At least until you get to know the islands. I could have sworn Fletcher's Rest, this is all the roar, which is over to the right. should be in this area. Oh, there it is. Um, so anyway, I'm going to mark all of my quests here. Honestly, that's what this one i got to find, picture-wise. There it is, Devil's Thirst. Ruby's Fall. So yeah, um, this isn't the most engaging in the beginning here. But we will be on our way soon. Ashen's Reach. Now this is the new area they just added uh, probably like two, three months ago. Uh, maybe a little bit longer, I'm not sure. And, uh, it's a lot more active, a lot more stuff going on. Um, kind of more of a pain in the ass, but the beauty is, is the, the treasures you get are actually d worth more. Double the, uh, the gold, double the, um, rep. I probably should have figured out which uh, direction I need to go. Huh? Okay, so we're facing northeast. Which one are we going to first? Holy crap, I'm a far, long ways away. Alright, so we're at Sanctuary Outpost. And we pretty much need to go just to the east, southeast. Uh, here we go. So there's three different types of boats. You got the sloop, the brig, and the uh, the galleon. Sloop's two man, brig's three man, galleon's four man. You know, each one adds a little bit more difficulty. The uh, the sail, you know, the the brig has um, two cannons on the the balance, or down here instead of one or two rows. So you got four instead of two. And then the galleon has another row, um, and each one adds an extra sail. Just makes it really difficult to do by yourself. I guess I should probably go the direction I need to go. Eh? So, like, if I were to pick a three-man boat, four-man boat, aside from people thinking there's more people on this boat, there's really not a benefit to it. And that's the real aspect of this game: is there really is pirates out there? That really will um, steal and sink your um, sink and steal your stuff. So you have to keep an eye out, make sure that uh, there aren't any ships that are coming to sink you, especially when you're by yourself. Makes it just a little bit more difficult. Uh, looks like there's a storm over that direction. Head this way a little bit more.
See, when I was playing that Furious Seas, all I did was want to move around the boat, and I couldn't move. I was stuck at the wheel. You know, like, I want to I wanna go on the islands, you know? I want to... I just want to be a pirate. I don't want to, like, see the world of a pirate. And I guess that's the difference between most, like, flat games and a lot of VR games. Is like, VR does a really good job of showing you the world, but... It's like the content's so shallow in a lot of games that it just makes it very difficult to want to go back. And that's my biggest issue. It's like, a game like this gives me a lot of reasons to go back, just because I'm trying to level up to become a pirate legend, and then I can start doing the Athena quest, and like, there's tiers of things you can do. And most games in VR is like, it just doesn't have that. And I'm not knocking VR, I, like, I love the experiences, I love the games, but after 45 minutes to an hour, and a lot of them, the honeymoon period really is over. It really is a game that I might never go back into. And it's not a knock against the game, it's just... I guess it is a knock against the game. It's a knock against the content, really. It's the content that's not there. It's just missing. You know? I mean, you have the, the hidden gems, the lone echoes, the the ones that are going to make you want to just finish it, but I hear more often than not um, from a lot of different people that they say, like, I, I want to finish, I'm forcing myself to finish this so I can go on to something else, and at that point, I'm done. Like, I'm, if I feel like i got to finish a game, like I'm going to force myself to finish it, nah, man, now I'm wasting my time. All right, I, I'm, I'm talking about enemies getting me and I'm leaving my lights on on the ship. That's real smart. Uh, yeah. Usually, I don't need that right now. Okay. I think it's probably yeah, almost east. More east than southeast than south, huh? So yeah, there's like I said, there's three different factions. You got the gold hoarders, you got the um, the merchant alliance, and then the skull order, I believe. Yeah, skull order. The skull order, you you go to different islands and you uh, you basically fight against um, pirate skeletons, and then they drop loot. And then there's also the the merchant alliance, which is pretty much the one most people hate the most. You have to, uh, like, go to an island and pick up, like, certain pigs or snakes or whatever, bottles of this or linen and deliver it to a different island. And it sounds cool, but, you know, God forbid you carry the, um, the pig underwater for an extra second and it dies or, like, there's just a lot of ways it can go bad. Like, if you jump around like this and you're carrying the box of bottles, well, guess what? You're breaking the bottles and you go to turn it in and, and now you get, like, almost no gold. For it's it's garbage. I'm just going to say it right now. It's garbage. So. This is a pretty relaxing game as well when you're not getting attacked by... Um, the Kraken, or the Megalodon, or uh, pirate ships. There's like a lot of PVE that will, especially on a one-man sloop, or one man on a two-man sloop, it's it's not good. Like I'm literally going to be in a uh, world of hurt if that happens. if I can catch the wind. We're moving pretty crappy. Pretty slow. So yeah, this is pretty much Sea of Thieves. I mean, I mean, this is the one aspect of it. The sailing across the sea. And that, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play a 
like a kick-ass pirate game, you know, like a game that was open world and I could go dig up ch pirates, um, ch treasure or, you know, fight other ships. And uh, I think this one delivers really well. I wish it was in VR in its form. Um, and I guess that's in the future. So, or something of this nature anyway. I'm just going to go east and then turn at the last minute. I wish I got a... I should go around these rocks, huh? So there's also skull forts. I won't do those today. I mean, I'm probably not even going to do all four of these quests. It just depends on how things go. But um, I'll probably see a skull in the sky somewhere. It's probably where that flashing is. I can't see it because of the storm. But essentially, uh, there'll be a big skull in the sky. And it, it'll appear right over a, uh, a skull fort. An island or like a fortress. And on that skull fortress is a uh, vault, and there's skeletons protecting it. And so you have to go in and and uh, kill waves of skeletons until you get to the the captains, and then you kill the captain, and um, he drops the key for the vault. You open the vault, and it gives you kick-ass uh, treasure and stuff for all three factions, and a lot of gold um, when you turn it in. So it's really good, right? But it's in the sky, and everybody wants to go for it. So enter the PvP aspect of this game. And so people will hide on the island and wait for you to finish it, and then kill you and take your stuff. The, like, there's just a lot of things that happen. And um, once you, as soon as you kill the captain, that key disappears. I mean, not the key, uh, the cloud in the sky disappears. And so, people will literally just sit and wait and we'll, for off to the side, like at the next island over, and wait for that to disappear. And then while you're looting, there's another ship over there. Um, while you're looting, you'll, uh, they'll kill you, take your stuff, sink your ship. You know, I'm really good at PvE. Like I've played games all my life. PvP, yeah, not so much. Um, I try to stay away from it if possible, yeah, which means I get to be the nice guy and not kill people. But you know, it's really because I'm just not the best. Oh God, I need to go southeast big time. But I bought this game uh, on a sale, half price sale, like a month and a half, two months ago. I don't know, I was watching Summit 1G on uh, on Twitter one night, just because I had seen a couple of videos of his on YouTube and was checking them out. And, and I had kind of wanted to check this game out anyway, and I saw it was half price, and I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. And I've been pretty much hooked ever since. This looks like the soup is... Uh, coming this way, or at least somewhat, so we'll see if he's gonna try to mess with me or not. Get to see my wonderful uh, PvP skills, or lack thereof. He may just go by, because I don't want trouble. I don't know. So, like, if he was looking this way, he would see that I'm looking at him. Uh, just by, there's like a sparkle from from the, from the, uh, the scope. So, same thing with my gun. Well, I, don't, I guess I don't have the sniper on me right now, but. Yeah, he's just doing his thing. There are a lot of people that just want to do their thing. They don't want to mess with anybody. They just want to dig up my treasure and turn it in. I spent the first two weeks of playing this game, three weeks of this, just playing solo by myself, 
is a lot more difficult, but uh, I got pretty pretty good at it um, pretty fast just because I had to. See, these are red. This is, um, like I said, special quest from the roar. You actually have to go into the roar to pick them up, and they uh, they give they give you better better gold, better rep, so or double. barrels right there supplies if I needed or if I was with somebody else I could jump in and grab some and then come back to the ship but I prefer not to leave the ship if I'm by myself unless I have to oh god I think that's a uh, pirate ship sound oh my god this is not good not as good for you guys to see but not good for me Oh god, I need more cannons. Feel free if um, any of you know, like if you know this game or whatever, I'm sure some of you are screaming at the screen roots. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Okay. I need to get away from the ship if possible. See, they didn't. Sh yeah, they're not. <laughs> I was going to say, they're not going to leave me alone. Damn it. Okay, well, I got to go. I got to go repair. See, this is where being by yourself is not good. Not good at all. Not good. Ah, you got to be kidding me. See, I need to I need to get away from this guy. Oh, now I'm screwed. Okay. spawn off of me, but I doubt that's going to happen. I don't even know, think I'm going the right way. Oh my god. I am so far off mark now. See, the one benefit I do have over this ship is they've, they're on a galleon, and the galleon is a lot bigger and harder to maneuver. So I can outmaneuver it. Um... It's just difficult, especially by myself, and especially since I'm not even 100% sure I'm not still taking water right now. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay, where are we going? Southeast. Oh god, they're, they're here, they're here! Leave me alone, ghost ship. I just want to go dig some treasure. Please. <laughs> Sometimes this game can be ridiculous. Like, I've had some situations where, like, it just makes you wonder. Like, you spend an hour digging for treasure, getting all this stuff. You're on your way to the island, and then the Kraken hits you um, at the same time that a pirate ship is coming up next to you. Get away from me, dude. And uh, and at that point, I just left the server and went to a new one because I, you know, I, I can't fight the Kraken and a pirate ship by myself. Let alone be difficult, difficult to do one or the other by itself. I, you know, I am so in trouble here. I can't even steer, and I'm gonna go into this rock. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, I need to get downstairs and repair. Coming towards a freaking volcano. Oh my god, I'm off the ship. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, so, well, this is a good time to show you this, right? So, when you're off the ship, <laughs> in the most inopportune time you could ever imagine, um, in the middle of a fight, and your ship's sinking, you get to swim the other direction to get as far away from the ship as possible so that your mermaid will pop up sooner than later. Then the mermaid, as you can see, will teleport me back. And at this point, let me ask you this. <laughs> Do I want to go back? Do I really want to go back to this ship where the pirate is ship is attacking me? Bad thing is I can't shoot anymore. I gotta go dig this out I, or bail me out because I guarantee I'm screwed here. See, this is why you get supplies because if even though I didn't get that many, you're gonna need boards, you're gonna need cannons, you're gonna need bananas for health, you know? Like, yeah, thank you. I needed another hole. Yeah, I needed two holes. It was awesome. Yeah, give me another one. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. Well, at least I have you guys here. Oh, shoot. I have you guys here with me. I forgot to dump this out to, um, to see me get my ass handed to me. You know, I'm, I'm, I feel very warm and fuzzy inside. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed! Oh, man. Okay, did... I hear the pirate music. I don't see him anymore, though. Oh, he's way over there. See that? There was a skull fort. Right there. Okay. Alright. Now that we're back on course, even though I don't know if we are, and now that you can't say, Roots, you're doing it wrong, because I'm not doing it wrong, even though I think I, I'm doing it wrong. I <laughs> need to go to the left. Um, okay. It's this island over here, to my left, but the bad news... Oh god, I, this rock, I gotta go around it. The bad news is it's erupting right now, so I really don't want to go over there anyway. You thought the pirate ship is bad, well, have a couple of meteors hit you. It's not good, or not meteors, I guess. Volcanic uh, rocks being thrust into your face. God, that pirate ship. Leave me alone, dude. I'm seriously, like, what is his deal? Like, I'm a one man. They got a whole crew of, like, 20 s skeletons on there. Like, does that not seem like a fair, not a fair fight or what? And I want to just anchor down right here, but I don't want the pirate ship to catch up to me. So I'm kind of forced to keep going. I am going to do this, though. That's already good. Now, like I was saying, I'm more mo maneuverable, but a galleon can get more speed if they're catching wind and while I'm catching wind. I gotta be very uh, crafty here. I'm going to circle around this island. I need to get to that island right there, damn it. We're in a pickle, chat. We're in a pickle. goes <sighs> I 
I'm kind of irritated that pirate ship is still following me. I'm not going to lie. Like, I... I want to dig my treasure, man. Like, I just have some dig treasure to dig, you know? Like, just leave me alone. Just let me chill. You know? This music's pretty catchy, though. That's one thing that I'll, I, I mean, I, I might as well just stop trying. Like, I, I dance to music. I'll be using my touch controllers and, you know, like, I'm sure you're going to see it soon enough. I tried my best not to let it happen in Dick Wild. I think I, I did a couple of times, but not like I normally would. But the music just gets in your soul, you know? Like, what am I going to do? Suppress it? Nah, it's not cool. Alright, I'm going to go around this rock and hopefully that'll help me ditch this galleon. I doubt it though. Oh shoot, it's right there, dude. Come on, man. Like, I put a couple holes in it. But see, that's the thing. That's why it's not fair, okay? So not only do they have, like, several more cannons than I do, and I'm one person, like, they've got a whole crew of people down in the bottom boarding that shit up. So they, I can hit them a million times, but I, how am I going to sink them? You know what I mean? It's just very difficult to do. Now, if I had two people, one person could go over to the, jump over or shoot themselves over to the, and climb up on the ship and they could actually go down in the bottom and fight the skeletons and keep them from bucketing their ship and then you sink them right but you can't I can't do that like I guess I could try to jump off my ship and keep it going straight and so forth but I'm kind of the guy that would stay on the ship while main fan jumped off and or a uh, lethal weasel or somebody took care of that shit because they're a lot better at that than me. And I'm good at the PvE. Oh god, here we go. This is a very bad mistake. Straight, straight, straight. No! Oh, this is what my guy looks like, by the way. I guess I should have showed you. Hey, what's up? I could tell you the stories of how I lost my hand and my foot, but, um... Yeah, it's, it's a little too depressing. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see how... I do this. First water shores, damn it, too bad it's not one of my islands. Oh. Watch, they're gonna shoot at me. That's just so you guys can. Oh my god, see, if I was over there, that's the worst. That is the worst crew that it could be. They're all metal skeletons. So, what that means is that they, uh,. I gotta. I would have to have a bucket of water, and I would have to throw it on them to slow them down and to weaken their metal. And then they they take like two or three times the da um, amount of uh, damage to to kill them. You know, I got double or two or three times as much. This is not good. So yeah, I was actually debating jumping over there and like going straight and trying to at least try to attack them but so you guys could see but there's no wet reason for it I can't kill those guys you know like Letha where are you man I need your help Oops. Well, I don't think either main fan or Letha weasel have this game but 
I think it's cool. It's, it's worth keep having. Alright, I'm coming up on an island. I don't know which one. Am I going to run right into it? I... Oh god. No, 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 no. No. Okay, so I just dropped the anchor. I'm raising it as quickly as I can. And that was really not good. This is why it's not good to drop an anchor when the pirate ship is chasing you, but I had no choice because I'm about to hit this thing. I'm still going to hit it anyway, but... Well, the good news is you guys are going to get to see what happens if your ship gets sunk. And then uh, you're going to get me to see me go to one island, probably, and dig out some treasure. And then that'll be it, because at this point... Surprised I'm not taking on water anymore. Alright, so where is this damn pirate ship? I really would like to stop hearing that music. Oh, he's way over there. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm at least going to get to that island. And then, uh,. Dig up the treasure. If they're gonna, if I'm gonna get my ship sunk, I'm at least gonna be on the island and and dig it up, and then I could come back and pick it up with my other ship after I respawn. I say screw it, screw it, man. I'm doing it. So yeah, this is the wacky side of roots. Not that it's super wacky, but like I like to just be weird sometimes. Okay. Oh god, see there it is. I need to go straight. Pirate ship's right there, right next to me, coming up on me. Oh god, I need to get to the right of this here. But I think it's straight ahead, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, so I got, oh god, I got this sword, oh god, there's a guy in this, there's a guy in the ocean, oh hey, what's up man? man okay well see that that's the other aspect of what happens when apparently as that pirate ship's attacking me I didn't see that other ship so they are probably I mean I was right next to that skull island okay so I'm assuming they thought I was coming to mess with their their ship I mean there's a lot of paranoia on the open seas but yeah I almost got that guy but that's like I said that's why I need a uh, main fan or um or a uh, weasel to uh, to join my crew and be the brutes and the brawn while I'll uh, you know I'll guess where we need to go. Really, am I back on my ship? And they couldn't hear me. I forgot I've got push to talk on. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? <laughs> I don't know why they're leaving the ship alive. Usually, well, they could be trying to sink it with the pirate ship. So that's probably what's happening. I just want them to sink it so I can start somewhere else and just get away from this. I just want to do my damn quest. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, so that's, that's the PvP aspect of it. So go ahead and say it. Roots, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, and PvP, I'm doing it wrong. Doing it wrong big time. Oh, I'm still here, man. It's sinking, though. I can hear it. Yo, 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 I'm back, dude. What's up? Hey, woo! <laughs>
Dude, sink my ship, please, and get it over with, dude. What's up? Okay, so what's going on now? See how I'm taking damage? They're just, they're taking it. Thank you. Um, they're taking it into, they're going to smash it in that rock, but um, the, the volcano's erupting. So now the water's heating up, and I'm going to die anyway. So what's frustrating, though, is I think I'm going to end up still spawning one more time before that sinks. Just very... Very frustrating. I just want to go. I don't want to be on this death ship anymore. The Fairy of the Damned. Are you the new captain now? Yes. Yeah, I serve the Lord too, but it's probably a different Lord than you serve there, Fairy Man. this. I forgot about this action. They want to play games. I can just scuttle my ship. Laters, dude. So scuttle means basically that it's going to destroy the ship with them on it and I'm going to start my new ship on a different island. I shouldn't have told them I wanted them to sink my ship because I think they're trying to keep it alive. Just to, There's a lot of people that try to grief you or you know, whatever. So that's the life of solo slooping, you know, or unless you're good and you can really good at PvP. But even if you are, it's still you're still at a disadvantage two to one, or three or four to one, depending on the ship. So then this is what going to a new server looks like because I just realized there's absolutely no way they're going to, they're still going to be in that same area that I'm at and they're just going to do the same crap again. And yeah, it is wuss. <laughs> it is being a wuss, but like at some point, like if I know that somebody's going to beat me, um, in PvP, and I still go back over there and I lose, like, am I not wasting my time? What the hell? Has this been on the whole time? Turtle's gonna kill me. Okay. It's making me go through this whole stupid thing, man. Come on. do open crew. I'm gonna see who could, who joins. It's one of the benefits of having the push to talk on setup. That way uh, if I don't want to talk to somebody in game or I'm talking to you, I can uh, I can keep them out of the loop, you know. And hopefully that doesn't turn out to be a nightmare. And if it does, hopefully it turns into an entertaining nightmare. Although I don't know how this has already pr ran pretty long. Probably lost about every single person that started watching this video by now. But, you know what? I don't care. Because I'm here to entertain. 
I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm going the wrong way, I think. So it started me on a different island. See, somebody's shooting something. I wanted you to see a damn treasure, man. Like, the whole aspect of it. What's going on? Rascally. Got a mic? It's cool if you don't. Where are we headed? It's like you're in a hurry, man. You think in Skull Fort? If you are, uh, jump up and down. throw a quest down. We got a uh, gold holder's quest for the um, the roar. So basically when you have more than one person you throw down the quest and then you vote on it and he has to vote on it before it's gonna put us on that quest. Oh shit. Oh god. He made it. I didn't think he was going to make that. I put a uh, gold hoarder's quest from the roar down on the uh, table if you want to vote on it. Otherwise, I'm assuming we're going to the skull. Even though you didn't jump up and down, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm contused. And this is part of the frustration of um, of randoms as well. I mean, we are heading towards the skull, so that's my assumption that we're going to end up doing a two-man skull fort, which is could be good, could be bad. Skull fort, it is, my friend. Um, yeah. So Now the skull forts are very oh my god, what are we doing? Uh, oh. Well, is there barrels or something? Are we here? Flintlock Peninsula. Now, sometimes you'll get one or qua one um, place to go. Sometimes you'll get multiple. Sometimes we'll go to Flintlock. More than likely, we're going to go to Flintlock, and it's going to tell us after we get that one, it'll give us another one. Like, go to this place, and we might go to multiple islands. It's all different. Um, and then, depending on you know, some place, some you'll get certain types of uh, chests. There it is. I don't know. I'm still getting used to the. The name's pretty much northeast of here. Pretty much northeast of here. East, northeast. It is fun, more fun to play with other people. I just, it gets old after a while dealing with a lot of trolls. I had one guy that wouldn't get off the wheel. He just kept um, trying to smash the uh, the ship into the, like that those enemies were doing, except for he was supposed to be on my team. You know, and it's that's why I like to play, that's why I really like playing VR with um, with Alex, Wes, and, um, and Justin. Yeah, or otherwise known as 
A. Gilling, Main Fan, and Lethal Weasel, as you would know. It's definitely uh, more fun and couldn't have picked a cooler group of guys to hang out with, you know what I mean? loading the cannon. What's he loading it for? I guess it's not a bad idea to have something in there, huh? Just ready to go. I don't know what he's shooting at, but he's wasting cannons. Balls. So, where's your, um, where's your outfits, man? Did you, like, just start the game? He doesn't like my music. I guess. So those volcanoes aren't everywhere. Only in the roar. So it's cool because it adds like more PvE to it, but it's also a, can be a real pain in the ass. Like, big time. Alright, I'm switching it up. Oh no, that's not what I want, meant to do. glad I did um, an open crew. I think it just adds to the experience, you know what I mean? Like even for you guys. Look at this guy, man. He's like jumping, dude. He's like having fun. He's chilling. I get it though, this music. How do you not jump? I think it's not the one right to our right. I think it's the one straight ahead. Oh yeah, no, that one to our right is Forsaken Brink. Thank God, because that one's erupting. Although they do erupt, because that one's erupting and that one's close, it's not going to be long before. You can already see the smoke. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I think this island we're headed towards is going to be erupting shortly after this one. I'm gonna have to go left here. We might have to wait a, until after. I mean, we can try. We just don't. It's gonna be sketchy to get too close. Yeah, so you guys can't see me hitting the button or not, so you don't absolutely know if I'm talking to you or him sometimes. I would imagine. Oh my god. Well, that was good. So, yeah, you can get hit by me, uh, those uh, flying debris from the volcano, and it's a one-shot. 
So hopefully guys paying attention and I'm not running into something or we're screwed. And I can't talk to him either until I'm back on the ship. Because I'm not in like an actual party. I don't think I can. Yeah, that sucked. I died from a thing. Okay. Where is the island we need to go to? We're taking, taking water and this guy's not even doing anything about it. He's just standing on the bow. I really think he's new and he's probably a kid. There's a lot of Xbox players. I don't even know where I'm at. Okay, we go to the right. East. East it is. So that's the island I think we need to be at is erupting right now. Uh, basically, get it in your hands. Like if you're holding it. Um, so are you on uh, Xbox controller? I'm a, well, actually, never mind. You're typing, so I'm assuming not. I'm on PC, but I don't know how to do it on the P out of keyboard. Because I use a controller. Anyway, I, I went ahead and threw the anchor down so that we could uh, wait out that volcano for a second. Yeah, the same way you're doing all that, pulling all that stuff out, like the drink and stuff, one of them, you should be able to see your uh, your bucket on that same list, or in that same wheel. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so I think the volcano's done. Looks like it's off to our left here. So did you just get this game? Are you like fairly new? I'm like rely relying on uh being um typing. I think it's that one right over there. I'm not mistaken. Problem is, is, I don't. He's not communicating with me really, so I can't. You know, if we were both on mic, I could out. He could be down here, and I could say, "Okay, is it straight ahead?" And he, "Yeah, it's a straight ahead." You know, like it just. It asks. It adds a lot more convenience to it. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's towers, Rascally, um, with some uh, skeletons or not outside. I don't think there is on this island, but I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Alright, can you raise the sail? Never mind, what am I thinking? Okay, here. this all the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to yeah I'm gonna leave it screw it all right so 
and I pull out the map and it's a riddle map so it's going to have uh, basically as soon as I, I reach the um, the shore it's going to start giving me the next clue the robo near the north beach does a clue disguise uncover okay so we need to find the north beach that sucks the north beach I mean this is the north but what's the uh Rock trap remains near the north beach. Okay, so we got to look for some remains. Okay, here's some graves right here. So I got to pull out my lantern. It said. Should give like some kind of an indication that we did it. This is not the right grave. Uh, that's what's crazy is like this island's so big that there's gonna be multiple grave sites. And so we're gonna be running around looking for this darn thing, and then it's gonna erupt, and then we're gonna be screwed, and yeah, pretty much the standard. Depending on if we're smart enough to outwit the island, the timing of the volcano here. Although it just erupted, so we've got a bit of time. I don't see any other graves, so that's the problem. I mean, this is north. But it could be, could be up over here. This is where you get to see me not do too good here. Okay. I could have sworn this was the darn grave site, man. Like, it's on the north beach. It's got, it's got. Uh, Graves markers, right? Right here. And the quest says to raise the lantern, so. This is not the right one. Where is it, Rascally? What the heck, man? Yeah, slice that sword. It's gonna get us a treasure for sure. Okay, oh, here we go. No? That's the three skulls. I like the birds chirping, it's pretty cool. At least it's daytime, it's easier to see what's going on. But that doesn't really help me with not finding the stuff, you know? See, I wonder if it's the north side of this island. I don't know. Let's find out. It's all one island, but they broken off so sometimes that'll be the case or it'll be up top instead of uh, down where you're at so you kind of have to think outside the box which is cool
I'm getting a treasure here, okay? We're finding this damn thing. I'm telling you. I don't see any graves though. You guys see any graves? Yeah. Let's go to the southeast part of the island when it said it's on the north. That's a good idea, right? Does that work? Yeah, I am definitely doing it wrong. That is for sure. Nothing like doing something that you... Somebody's watching you do that you feel like you're doing it wrong, right? Oops. See, it should be down over there, man. I swear. Well, maybe I need to... That was close. Almost didn't make it. Rascally, you find it? Oh, I guess you guys can tell when I'm talking. You can see the little chat thing up in the right hand corner when I'm talking to the guy. vibrations on the island. I think it's getting ready to, to go boom. I think the island's about to go off, dude. Man, this is the struggle. The struggle is real. And we have no treasure. If we don't get out of here, our ship will sink. We're so close to the shore that we'll get hit by multiple, multiple rocks, debris. So hopefully the dude gets over here quick because I'm leaving now. I can take him away. Some people get really offended if you leave without him, but I, at this point I don't care, man. I'm not going to die to not offend him. Political correctness is not one of my weaknesses. Oh shit! Oops. Okay, well. Falling off the ship is one of my weaknesses. Um, so, I'm gonna swim quickly. Hoping I get my mermaid, because this is not good. It's not good. See, there goes the... I think it was the other island going off next to ours, but ours is next. There it is. I'm going to check and see how long this has already been going. Because. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, I gotta end this. This has been over an hour. An hour and ten minutes. So, yeah, this is like a freaking adventure that nobody's gonna sit through the whole thing. So, if you've made it this far, I commend you. Like, you, like you legit stuck through it. And, uh, yeah, so it makes me feel a little bit better, um, about quitting, even though I can't figure out how to quit, there we go, because, um, 
no one's going to see this part. No one's going to see I didn't get the treasure. And if you saw I didn't get the treasure, say something in the comments. Then I'll know you watched the whole video. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, helping me get more used to the camera being there. So I will see you guys later. I'm going to end it in a... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say.